We won't give up our freedom. <coughs> <coughs> Let's crank the tune on that. We won't give up our freedom, yeah. Okay, what was I just talking about? Oh, yeah, hey guys, welcome back to this, uh, welcome back to this quote show, unquote. The name of the show is, of course, I'm not here to play stupid games with morons. And I'm your host. What? Shut up. <laughs> okay. You think that's funny? Charla, you're becoming quite the chef. Gonna put me out of a job. Guess who else is ready to cook? What? Shut up. Hey, come on, man. It's a child. Calm down. What? Shut up. Hey. Okay, guys. So if you know anything about this beautiful channel of mine here, we make fun of this, uh... We make fun of the Daily Wire a lot because it's easy and because they're insane. But uh, I think this came out today. They've produced a bunch of honestly adorable and pretty well done children's programming. Uh, the clip I just showed is from a show called, what the hell is it called? Chip Chilla, which is uh, exactly Bluey. It's a less interesting version of Bluey. Not that I think Bluey is interesting. That show's for babies. Rob Schneider is one of the voices in it. He was on Saturday Night Live. I don't know if you guys remember this, but Rob Schneider was on SNL, and he had a famous catchphrase when people would come to make copies. He would say to them, I'm not here to play stupid games with morons. <laughs> he said that to them. Major's right. Outside in this wind is no place for a young clanger. Yeah, apparently they invested a hundred million of these. What? Shut up. No, I'm, I'm telling the truth. Into these kids shows and they're really well done. I mean, this one looks like, I can't tell if it's stop motion animation or like 3D graphics, but it's very, very well done. Just as our love for learning evolves over time, so does our use of technology. W wait a second, they didn't say that Ben Shapiro was gonna be in these shows. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. What? Shut up. I know, I know, calm down. Yeah, this is a very savvy business move, you know what I mean? I mean, if you watch these channels, they have been you know, kind of like heightening the paranoia of their viewers, especially about kids, their kids, you know. Oh, the schools and the media, they're trying to get your kids. They're trying to indoctrinate your kids or whatever. And this is a like, now they're presenting a solution. Here's our solution. Content for kids that you know is for your values or whatever. I've never seen anything quite like this. This is, this is kind of an amazing uh, marketing feat of like, you know, all that other stuff, all that other kids content is trying to get your kids trying to do bad stuff to your kids. So you really, you shouldn't be, and you can't watch that, that other stuff. You gotta subscribe to our crap. They're also going to create enormous opportunities for our commerce team Whoa. to make new products. From plush toys, to children's books, to video games, we're creating an entire world where kids can live, learn, and play without anyone trying to rob them of the values that their parents have spent so much time trying to instill in them. What, shut up. <laughs> You know, so it's a pretty cynical but very savvy business move here to get, you know, kind of overly paranoid parents uh, to kind of capture them as audience members. But I do have to say, the shows are pretty adorable, and I did not see anything overtly political in them. I do imagine, though, that that Rob Schneider version of Bluey is going to eventually veer into some anti-vax <laughs> territory or something. But I got to say, the one that I'm most excited about is the... <laughs> What, what the hell is this? The, the, their version of Snow White. <laughs> yeah, dude, uh, there's a, uh, you know, a subgroup of people I've found out on YouTube, on the internet, who are kind of, they're kind of losing it about uh, Snow White. Uh, what does this say? The most liked comment on this video? What does this most liked 5.5k likes comment say? Lips red as the rose, hair black as ebony, skin white as snow. Thank you, Brett Cooper. That's the snow white we remember. Okay. Weird. What? Shut up. Okay, hear me out on this. Okay, hear me out on this. This is a pitch. This is a Hollywood style pitch right now. What's this thing called? Snow White and the Evil Queen. Okay, so we got Snow White cast, right? Who are the seven dwarves? That's right. They're all played by Ben Shapiro. <laughs> It'll be like the Eddie Murphy thing of Ben Shapiro, Ben Shapiro, and Ben Shapiro. But he'll just be correcting everything the whole time. He'll be like, uh, actually, actually, there's no evidence that a prince kissing you will bring you back to life. 
They're like, shut up, you little twerp. We're trying to do a fairy tale here. Now, a few weeks ago, pictures from the new Snow White live action remake went viral and okay. people had a field day with it, rightfully so, because okay. it looks absolutely atrocious and ridiculous. First of all, there was only one dwarf, one actual dwarf, the token dwarf, and the rest <laughs> of them literally look like crackheads. There's not enough dwarf, okay that are stumbling out of a San Francisco Whole Foods. And also, okay. we were reminded that the girl playing Snow White isn't actually Snow White, after all, which should not have surprised anybody. Okay. It is 2023, you can't hire a white girl to play Snow White. Anyway, to be oh, honest. Boy. Okay, look, we're really about to go through the dumb dumb zone here, so. So strap in, I guess. But these Snow White videos, these pissed off Snow White videos on YouTube are getting a massive amount of views. This is one of this lady's uh, higher viewed videos, 1.5 mil. 1.5 milli on that one. <laughs> so yeah, there's definitely a subset of people who are really pissed off. They're really pissed off, first of all, that a half Colombian, half Polish girl, who by the way, her face looks exactly like the 1930s Disney Snow White cartoon. They just cannot get past this. This is, this is a bridge too far for these people. I mean, could you imagine having so much emotion behind something like this? Like, who are these people? They're so pissed off about Snow White. Are all their, like, high-interest loans paid off? And they're like, I gotta get mad about something. I feel like this Snow White controversy is single-handedly, like, rolling back feminism. Like, uh. all these women are watching Rachel Zegler on their phones, on their social media. Yeah. They're hating her because she's absolutely destroying this role. Disney uh -oh. and Greta Gerwig are also destroying this whole story. And okay. they're realizing that what they really want... Yeah, the movie hasn't come out yet. This movie comes out in 2024. So <laughs> how do you know that it's being destroyed? You know what, this lady should have done a closer to home version of Snow White where the prince comes and say, you know, he saves her, he gives her gives her a little smooch to bring her back to life or whatever the hell happened in that movie. And instead of living happily ever after, he finds out that she does this like weird right wing podcast and he's like, oh, God damn it. I should have looked into this lady. The prince is like, hey, I'm, hey, I'm going to take the horse to uh, get some crystal, pick up some crystals or so I'll be back. I'll be right back. Couple of weeks. Before we get into this, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if I'm you're not, not going to. already, yeah, hey. ring that notification bell so no. that you never miss a comment section or a block episode. Okay, so this new live what, action Snow up. White is actually written by Greta Gerwig, who okay. also wrote Barbie and Lady Bird and Frances Ha. And we've been talking about her a lot recently right. because of Barbie, but also she's one of my favorite writers and directors. I've liked her since high school, so this pains me because right. what she is doing with Snow White seems absolutely terrible. Right, <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, and you probably know better than her because she's really strong struck out recently, right? Right, right. Trusted you. I hey, trusted no her. means. Because no she's more involved. Means. I want to believe that this movie will have some redeeming qualities. Oh. Will I actually watch it? Probably not. But I hope that it does for those of you who do watch it. But the lead actresses, Rachel Zegler and Gal Gadot, are making Never it very, very difficult for me okay. to believe that there is anything redeeming about this project whatsoever. Now, I am sure that we have all seen this viral clip, but let's just watch again. You Let's said you were bringing up. a modern edge to it on stage. What do you mean by that? I just mean that it's no longer 1937. Okay. And we absolutely okay. wrote a Snow White that she's is- She's not gonna be yeah. saved by the prince. She's not gonna be saved by the prince. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be. Oh. And the leader that her late father told her that she could be if she was fearless, fair, brave, and true. Oh my okay. God, it's a really incredible story. You're making this girl boss story based on an important father figure? Yeah, I've been looking at these stupid channels for a long time now, and even I was shocked by the amount of uh, Snow White remake outrage that's going on, the amount of views that this is racking up. I mean, who are these people? Are these all Disney adults? Are there that many Disney adults to be uh, racking up these views? Today, oh. we're going to talk about Rachel Zegler. Oh, God. 1.7 million views on this one. Got backlash. She's supposed to be the next Snow White. She got backlash. What I don't like is the historical inaccuracies. Right. Okay? <laughs> so... um. Uh, now a white girl's gonna play Pocahontas? That just didn't happen. She yeah. was a Native American. <laughs> By the way, where did Sleeping Beauty actually take place? Uh, right. It took place in Germany in the 1800s. How right. many black chicks are running around there? Okay, Whoa. so just like Pinocchio happened in Italy, uh, Cinderella, Columbia. Beauty and the Beast, Sleeping Beauty all happened in France. Sorry, Snow White was in Germany. So it's just historically inaccurate. So if right. you want to whitewash history and do all that. Okay, this is kind of fun because uh, in these outrage videos, these Snow White outrage videos, they're really pissed off that it's not sticking to the original vision. It's not sticking to the original vision of Disney in the 1930s. How dare they, a lot of people are saying stuff like, how dare they spit in the face of that original movie? 
Why didn't they make it a shot for shot remake? You know, like Gus Van Sant style when he remade Psycho shot for shot. Why didn't they do that? Funny thing about that is that the uh, 1930s version, the Disney cartoon, uh, did not stick to the original. Snow White is a German fairy tale first written down in the early 19th century. The Brothers Grimm published in 1812 in the first edition of their collection Grimm's Fairy Tales. Blah, 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 blah. Who cares? I like this. The original German title was Sneewitchen. <laughs> Sneewitchen. They changed a few things for the audience in the 1930s. Eventually, the queen orders the huntsman to take Snow White into the forest and kill her. As proof that Snow White is dead, the queen also wants him to return with her heart, which she will consume in order to be... <laughs> which she will consume in order to become immortal. That's kind of, that's actually kind of awesome. You know, this children's movie do a fantasy scene where the queen is just imagining her, like, eating this heart. There's a little blood all over, you know? They were like, uh, yeah, that's probably going to traumatize some kids. You know, and then the executive who said that said, said to a kid, get, get me my cigarettes, you little shit. As punishment for the attempt, this is the, this is the best part of the original Snow White. As punishment for the attempted murder of Snow White, the prince orders the queen to wear a pair of red-hot iron slippers and to dance in them until she drops dead. With the evil queen finally defeated and dead, Snow White's wedding to the prince peacefully continues. Could you imagine that scene? Just a, like a 10-minute torture scene? I wonder if there were people similar to these YouTubers who are really pissed off about Snow White now. I wonder if there were people back in the 1930s who were like, Ah, oh, this, is, this is not true to the original. They should have showed that queen's feet melting off while she's forced to dance in a very long excruciating torture scene for kids for kids i i mean done tastefully i mean for me it is kind of a shame that they changed this shit though you know i do like these brothers grim fairy tales because it's these revolting stories where like a two-headed dog bites off somebody's grandfather's penis or something and you're like jesus what is this story and then you find out kids in the mid-1800s loved this. They were laughing, <laughs> you know. I'm reminded of Snow White actress Rachel Zegler, who seems to be single-handedly tanking the box office prospects of her multi-million dollar movie. To this video has 3.4 million views with that voice. I'm just, guys, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what, shut up. The strong female lead isn't the fresh new concept it was back in 2016. Yeah. In fact, man. I mean, honestly, if you're gonna do like a pop culture or movie channel, watch some movies before, watch some movies that were made before, what, like 2014. This guy thinks that like strong female leads are a new thing or like they just started doing that. I mean, literally just off the top of the dome, Mae West, a bunch of film noir movies, Lady Vengeance, Lady Snowblood. They just started doing this. They just started doing this when I started a YouTube channel. Either way though, I can't help wondering, is this really the attitude you want to display towards one of the most beloved animated movies of all time? Okay. The one that literally made Disney what it is today? Right. Do you really want to be seen shitting on the accomplishments of previous generations? Right, like they did to the Brothers Grimm, right? You might, might have wanted to look into that a little bit, right? <laughs> The, these kind of channels do seem, like, lost in time. Like, I can't believe that there's still channels. Like, this seems very, like, 2014, I have to say. They're going to do a Snow White remake. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> with dwarves that aren't dwarves. Oh. A completely spineless, feckless prince buys his swimsuits at Target. Oh, wow. <laughs> definitely at the top of the list of my concerns right now. You know what I mean? Arun Brown. Yes? What do you have to say to me? What? Shut up. <laughs> And Snow White is Snow Brown. Now, I don't have a problem with the fact that she's brown. I'm just no. saying then everything say about it? this has to be changed when it doesn't really then need to be changed. Yeah, then why'd you say it, stupid? But this is this does matter. Look, I've said that I think this matters more than taxes. Why? Because it's something... <laughs> really? Oh, okay. The Snow White remake matters more than taxes. Okay, well. A very strong and very stupid stance. I like that. So... The new Snow White is going to be an abomination. <laughs> okay, this is a Disney adult right here. So I, I do think that this is, so I do think this is legitimate anger right here. How do we know it's going to be an abomination? Well, first we, because they won't let me in without an adult. Okay. We had those pictures yeah. that showed that um, Snow White's seven dwarves are actually six large people, like normal sized people. Oh, no. Oh, man. Call the National Guard. Oh, God. And one little person. Okay. Uh, but now we actually have some verbiage 
from the uh, from the lady who is Rachel Zegler, who is playing Snow White. <laughs> and uh, and so this is what okay. Rachel Zegler says. You said you were bringing a modern edge to oh it on stage. They what do you mean by over. that? I just mean that they it- can't get over this clip. What what does she actually say in this clip? What's what's the atrocity this woman did in this clip? Let's see. And uh, and so this is what Rachel Zegler says. Oh, I can't wait. You said you were bringing a modern edge to it on stage. What do you mean by that? I just mean that it's no longer 1937, and we absolutely oh wrote a Snow White. Throw, throw her in jail. Throw. Her. <laughs> Throw this young woman in jail for the whatever the hell she's talking about. That is <laughs> not going to be yeah. saved by the prince. She's not Throw her in jail, by the prince, too. And she's not going to be dreaming Throw about Gal true love. Jail. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be. And the leader that her late father told her that she could be oh if she my was God. fearless, I, fair, brave, I and true. I can't believe And so believe it's just a really incredible story for, I think, young people everywhere to see themselves yeah. in. How is this woman walking free? You know, there is something actually kind of interesting here that gets totally lost in the stupid uh, Snow, Snow, Snow right in these stupid uh, Snow White outrage videos, which is like, you know, why are they making a live action Snow White movie? Because they want to make a lot of money. They want to make a lot of this. That's like the only reason. That's pretty much it. And uh, if you were really actually interested in why does that 1937 Snow White hold up so well, look up Albert Herter. Just to, trust me on this. Look up Albert Herter. Herter. He was the guy who was put in charge of the, the design of that original thing. And he was a, Sw- I think he was Swiss, Swiss or German or something. He's a weirdo conceptual artist. I mean, his drawings are amazing. Uh, listen to this. Many of Herder's ideas were too gruesome to be used. One sketch depicts a huge dog whose upper and lower jaw turn into another smaller dog. While another depicts a baby eating its own head. Sheets of paper he had drawn on were characterized by a series of nervous sketches surrounding the main drawing often apparently completely unrelated. Yeah, go look at some of Albert Herder's sketches. Uh, you know, it, when you're doing a live action remake, that's purely just Yeah, you're probably not going to you're probably less likely to let some of that seep in. Yeah, it's a much more basic question. How do you make a uh, timeless art that's going to last forever? Will you let artists do artist stuff? It's you know. There's oh, there's a woman in it who's half Colombian. That's the problem. <laughs> Come on, guy. Come on, guys. There's only one thing to say to it. What? Shut up. <laughs> and I'm not here to play stupid games with morons. So there we go, guys. Snow White. Also, big shout out to Snow White. What did she do? She ate an apple and the queen got pissed off because of what? It was her apple or something? Who cares? Who remembers? Not me. Hope you guys are having a good week. It's Wednesday. Not the best. Not the best, but at the same time, not the worst. Can we agree on that? And I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys. Guess what? You're not even getting the whole show. If you want every episode and a whole bunch of other sh**, subscribe on Patreon. Subscribe on Patreon for as little as two bones. Just click the stupid little link below the video in the comments. See, right there. There you go. Click it and that, yep. When you become a patron for as little as two bones, you get the Tuesday, Thursday, patron-only episodes. Ah! You also get the weekly book oblega show where we talk about important books, the questions and comments th- th- thing where you can ask questions and make comments and all this crap. All for less than the price of a rancid Charleston chew. And for only 25 putrid little dollars, you could become a producer. That's right, support the show and get your name up here. Look at these people. Look at these, these people, it make the show possible, okay? God. I mean, without these beautiful people, this show goes straight into the dumpster. A rotten, you know, just wet, disgusting dumpster, you know, behind a restaurant. So it's, there's old milk in there. That's where this show ends up without these people. Is that what you want? Okay, I guess it's, okay, no, I guess it's what you want. I'll just leave. No, 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 it's done. It's too late. Okay? Okay? Here we go. Here's the dump truck. Here's the dump truck. Come to pick up the show. This is what would happen with no producers. Thank you.